Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about topic that is Agni Prime Missile. So these are the video components and learning objectives as well. First, we'll try to understand the context. Then, what is this Agni Prime and the details regarding this particular satellite? That means, what are the fuel stage stages and what is the target and how strategically important? Then we'll discuss about the ballistic missiles and the strategic forces command because the strategic forces command they tested the agni prime missile so here you have to know about the executive side of the sfc as well as the political side of the sfc then we'll discuss about variant various variants of the agni missile like agni 1 2 3 4 5 those variants we will discuss at the end of the video regarding the syllabus this topic is related to general studies paper 3 that is science and technology now let's see the context recently new generation that is updated version of the ballistic missile Agni Prime it was test flighted by which organization strategic forces command SFC along with the DRDO from where from the APG Abdul Kalam Island of the coast of Odisha now tell me friends what is the former name of this island previously this island used to call with a different name what was the name of okay now let's see so first we have to understand there are two types of missiles always so what is the main purpose of the missiles they play a very strategic role in the defense and with the missiles we can target a particular area on the enemy side so that is the main purpose of the missiles i mean originally missiles used to deliver only warhead but later now we upgraded the missile that missile now they are delivering the nuclear warhead as well missiles and the type of technology the height they reach based on that missiles can be broadly categorized into two ways one type of missiles are ballistic missiles ballistic missiles and the other one is a cruise missile cruise missile ballistic missiles their target range okay range is very great very great range and their path is more hyperbolic more hyperbolic as they exit from the earth environment and they re-enter into the earth environment they require the oxygen oxygen so equipment oxygen F equipment and okay generally fire and forget fire and forget mechanism absence absence of fire and forget mechanism so these are the characteristics of ballistic missile then what about the cruise missile short range the range is short and less hyperbolic in nature because its path is depends on its target then oxygen equipment is not required it functions with the fire and forget mechanism fire and forget mechanism once we fix the target and launch this missile it will maneuver it will change its direction according to its target so these are the two types so whatever the Agni missiles, they fits into this category, ballistic missiles, whereas Brahmos fits into cruise missile category. Okay, now let's see. Of course, recently, even we exported the Brahmos technology to one country as well. So which country that is? So this Agni Prime missile, it is a two stage. Okay, and what is the category? Surface to surface, canister launch. That means it can be launched even from the moving stations as well. That means it can be launched from the train or from any vehicle also it can be launched it is a solid fueled and its range is medium range okay with this actually its range is around 1000 to 2000 kilometers it can easily hit targets in pakistan but with with this missile we can't hit the targets in china the agni prime this agni prime is equipped with a dual redundant navigation and guidance system range is 1000 to 2000 kilometers it is lighter than the all the Agni 5 series. So the main advantage of the Agni Prime is ready made. It can be launched with a quick notice and it can be launched from the moving so moving platform. That is the advantage and lighter as well. And very improved system. It is a self-guided strategic weapon system. This ballistic missile and the trajectory is hyperbolic, I told you. It can carry conventional high explosives as well as chemical, biological and nuclear munitions as well it can carry very 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 important it can carry biological weapons as well okay 
Now, so who successfully launched this Agni Prime missile? This Agni Prime missile launched by SFC. SFC is a part of the India's Nuclear Command Authority and this Nuclear Command Authority consists of two elements. One is the political element, the other one is the Executive Council. Political Council is chaired by Prime Minister. It is a body which will authorize the use of the nuclear weapons generally. Whereas the Executive Council is chaired by the National Security Advice. Tell me friends, who is the present National Security Advisor to India? And this Executive Council, they provide inputs regarding the decision making by the Nuclear Command Authority and they implement the decisions taken by the political council and it is the one the executive council is responsible for the management and administration of the country's tactical and strategic nuclear weapon stockpile these are the various agni variants so agni 1 it is a nuclear capable road road mobile missile it was for the first time tested in 2007 it is a single stage and a solid fuel missile it is a short range ballistic missile its range is around 1200 kilometers 700 to 1200 kilometers. It is a solid propellant booster based ISRO, ISRO organization and it is you know, developed based on the SLV-3 platform. Next Agni-2 developed by Advanced System Laboratory along with the DRDO and the integration by the Barth Dynamic Limited. It is also surface to surface and medium range nuclear capable the range 2000 kilometers and it can be further increased up to 3000 kilometers. It is a two stage ballistic missile with solid fuel. Here the payload is 1000 kilometers, 1000 kg. As we are moving from Agni 1 to Agni 5, the payload capacity also increases. The range of the missiles we were able to increase because we got the access towards the technology. That nuclear, this you know, like this missile technology, we got access by joining into the by joining into the MTCR missile technology control regime. Okay, here MTCR, Nuclear Suppliers Group, Australian Group and Vasnar Agreement. Out of these four, in which of the agreement India is not a member? Out of these four, in which of the, which of the, you know, like arm, mom's agreement, India is not a member? Next, regarding the Agni-3, it is a two-stage solid propellant missile. Intermediate range ballistic missile range is around 3500 kilometer and the payload is 1500 kg. 4 Agni 4 its range is around 4000 kilometers, payload is 1000 kilometers, 1000 kg. Surface to surface missile, two stage solid fuel. Agni 5 its the intercontinental ballistic missile, very very important. That means it can target the places beyond the Asian continent. It completely fueled by solid fuel, nuclear capable missile. It uses three stage, three stage solid fuel, three stage surface to surface ballistic missile and the range is 5000 to 5500 kilometer and it can launch the nuclear, I mean weapons, okay, weapons payload up to 1.5 ton payload. That's a very significantly quite a lot of damage. It can target even major cities in China, including the capital Beijing. It is one of the longest missile in Agni series and now we are in course of developing Agni-6 missile as well. Yesterday's video question, which of the following country first to introduce zero base budgeting? The answer is USA. Now let's see today's video question. Today's MCQ. Today's MCQ is with reference to Agni-4 missile, which of the following statement is or correct? It is a surface to surface missile. It is fueled by liquid propellant only. It can deliver a one ton nuclear warhead about 7500 kilometers away. Examine these three statements and pick the right one. As we reach to the end of this video, in this particular video, we mainly discussed about the successful, uh, you know, like test flight of the Agni Prime missile. And we also discussed about who tested this and who regulated that organization. Along this, we also discussed about various variants of Agni missile. And the target range and what kind of payload they can deliver. So these are the details we covered in this particular video. I hope this video is useful in your preparation. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.